I am back. <laughs> I don't sculpt very much because my eyes really trouble me some days, and this past week they really did. But the left, the right eye, which was like looking through frosted glass, I couldn't see any detail at all, is starting to see detail. So the two shots that I've gotten in the eye, they're working. And uh, in, I got another appointment at the beginning of October, and hopefully it'll be, even be better. Anyway, the problem is my eyes get tired, and my left eye, which is controlled by Bell's palsy, it, it gets hazy, it gets tired. And when it does that, I can't see or focus, but right now, if I rub my eye, I can see detail perfectly. So my eyesight is improving, and uh, I don't know how long I'll work today because my eyes get tired, I can't work. So I'm going to, I'm going to make a small armature for the heads of the horses. And I'm going to make it separate from the horse because it's a lot easier than trying to get in between the horses and work on their heads. And then I'll just cut off the uh, head that's on there right now. Um, these two worked out fine because they're up there by themselves uh, pretty much and it was easy to reach into. But these are going to be a little harder. This one's going to be easy. But I'm still going to work on it separate and I'm going to make a little jig to work on. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now and then I'll be right back. All right, I got a little modeler's uh, clamp and I put some uh, silicone on the uh, jaws so that it would grab better. And I'm going to be using baling wire. Let's make the head of the horse is exactly what I used to make the heads in the first place. Oh man, it's hard to line up when you got one eye that doesn't want to work. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, I wish I could explain to you guys how hard this is. But I'm a trooper, what the hell? I'll get her done. That's cable guy used to say, oh, get her done, baby, get her done. Quit your friggin' complaining. Right now, keeping this in view is going to be hard, and I know it's going to be hard to see it because the background's really busy. And there's nothing I can really do about that. What I've done is I've put this wire, this baling wire, you can get it at any hardware store, into uh, this uh, jig that I've got here, which is uh, kind of like a fly tying type of vice. People who make uh, fish flies use it. I got it at a local fish fly or fishing store or sporting goods store and it works really well. I put uh, some silicone on each of the jaws just to give it a little more grip uh, when I got wire in there. I'm going to turn the head and work on this side real quick. If you hear noise in the background, it's because uh, the guy across the street <coughs> is uh, getting his supply of firewood cut for the winter. He got down in the 30s last night here. And windy last night, too.
time to get the head off of this horse. I think what I'm going to do is reposition my clamp only because it makes it hard for me to reach in to work on the uh, horses. Yeah, this is a little challenging, but you know what? If you don't challenge your art and your abilities, how do you improve? And uh, that's the way I look at it. It's Yeah, this is hard. This is extremely hard. And I keep dropping my dang tools. Ah! Anyway, dang, you'd think I'd be a little more coordinated, but I ain't. Let's see, I got my tool here. Okay, I got to build up the head a little bit. Where's my clay? Oh, right there. So. once in a while just to wipe your eyes and be able to see again. There. <sighs> Used to be I could go for hours and never have to take a break. Those days are long gone, I think. nice thing about working on this jig is you can line up like say the nostrils nicely um, if you uh, would be so kind like my video and uh, click on uh, the subscribe bu button if you're not subscribed and uh, then ding that little bell to the right of the subscribe button and that way you'll uh, get updates when I put a new video up. If you're interested in sculpting I've got uh, several DVDs that uh, I try to show how to sculpt taking advantage of my over 50 years of uh, sculpting. You tend to learn things over four, over a 50 year period, half a century. And I pass that on to you, the viewer. <sighs> okay. All right, that's gonna be it. And I'll see you guys next time. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.